Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll see AC fundamentals. I am splitting this into four parts. In the first part, we'll see the definitions of all AC circuits. In the second part, we'll look at average value and RMS value. In the third part, we'll see how to solve the problems using RMS and average concept. And the fourth part, concept of phasors in AC. So this is the first part. In this part, we'll look at the definitions of all AC fundamentals. Let's get to it. So before we go to fundamentals of AC, let's talk about what is AC and what is DC. So DC basically means unidirectional. We are lazy to call unidirectional, that's why we'll call it as simply D, DC. And AC means alternating in direction. So it is actually bidirectional. We'll simply call it as A, alternating, or actually it is bidirectional. So let's look at some of the signals and see whether they are unidirectional or bidirectional. So tell me, what is this? Is it AC or DC? Yes, very good. It is DC because it is having only one direction. And of course, the magnitude of this is constant. It is a DC with a constant magnitude. Next, this one. AC or DC? AC. Is it alternating in direction? No, it is only having positive direction. So it is unidirectional. So it is also a DC. It is also, DC means what I said? Unidirectional. So it is also having only one direction. So unidirectional. Of course, it is pulsating in nature. It is pulsating or you may say time varying so next what about this this one yes very good it is also a DC I mean it is also unidirectional it is only having a negative direction yes only one direction negative direction unidirectional it is also a DC signal. What about this? AC or DC? Yes. Now it is bidirectional. Bidirectional means very good. AC. It is having positive as well as negative in direction. What about this? Yes. It is also AC. Sinusoid. It is, what is the shape of it? It is a sine function. So now I think you are clear what is AC and what is DC. What is AC? AC means it is having both directions. The magnitude is both positive as well as negative. DC means unidirectional. It is only having one direction, either positive or negative. So let's look at time varying signal. One time varying signal. This is one time varying signal. At each and every instant, at this instant of time, its magnitude is zero. At this instant of time, the magnitude is some x. So let me take it as t zero, t1. Magnitude is x1. And at this instant of time, time t2, magnitude is x2. So likewise, at different instant of times, we have different magnitude. So we'll call it as instantaneous value. These are all instantaneous values. So we normally represent these instantaneous values with the small letters. So this whole function is what? Instantaneous value. So this complete instantaneous value we represent with a small letter, if it is a current, small i, if it is a voltage, small v, 
small x, whatever. What about this? It is a special instant where the magnitude is maximum. There is a special instant where magnitude is maximum. So we'll call it as amplitude. Amplitude is what? Maximum magnitude. Or you may call also as peak value or crest value. So th this is the definition. It is a maximum magnitude, whether it is a positive or negative. So we have seen two definitions. One is instantaneous value, another one is amplitude. So let's look at what kind of signal is this, AC or DC? Yes, very good. It is a time varying and alternating in direction. That is AC signal, AC time varying. So here, let me take some other cycles. So we have some AC waveform here. In this signal, what do you call it as one cycle? How do you define one cycle? Yes, you can see there, a minimum span after which the signal gets repeated. So tell me, in this whole signal, what is the minimum time after which signal is getting repeated? Is this getting repeated? No, it is not getting repeated. Is this getting repeated? Yes, it will be repeated like this. But that is not a minimum span. One cycle means you need to choose a minimum span. This is a minimum span. This is a minimum span. So this I'll call it as a cycle. Okay. Now, what is the time period? We normally represent time period with capital T. It is a time taken to finish one cycle that is called time period. So units are seconds. What are the units of time period capital T? Second. So we can simply call it as seconds per cycle. Time period means what? Seconds per cycle. So let's look at another definition called frequency. What is frequency? It's the inverse of time period. That means we are seen in time period for one cycle, how much time it is taking. So in frequency, what we see? In one second, how many cycles it is coming? So in frequency, according to the definition of frequency, small f, it is time, sorry. In one second, how many cycles are coming? So if you see here, it is just a reverse of it. So if I want to write the relation between t and f, from this I can say capital T is equal to 1 by F or F is equal to 1 by capital T. What are the units of it? Cycles per second or herds. Herds, HZ. So I hope you are getting the ideas. In the next, we will see the phase. Phase of a phasor is defined as the instantaneous angular position of waveforms. So, so far we talk about magnitude and time from where this angular position has come. So to understand this clearly, you need to look at concept of phasors. That's a part, part four. There you'll understand more clearly about this phasor concept. So phase normally we represent with theta and omega t. Either you may represent with theta or omega t. You can see here, what is omega? Omega equal to 2 pi f angular speed units are radian per second. I am multiplying this omega with t into units per second. So you are getting these to get cancelled, you are getting radian. That is theta, angular position. Again, to understand the concept of phasor, which is very important, you have to watch part 4. The link for that is given in the description. You may check that. Next, phase difference. 
So once you understand the phase, it'll be clear about phase difference as well. I'm having two signals. What is the definition? Definition says the angular difference between two waveforms as regards to their reference point. Okay, reference point means negative to positive zero crossing. Negative to positive zero crossing. So this red signal is crossing negative to positive at this point. This black also crossing negative to positive at the same point. What is the difference in angle? There is no difference. So here phase difference is zero degrees. Let's look at another signal. This one. Yeah, this is a positive to negative, negative to positive zero crossing. And for red signal, this is a crossing. So phase difference is some angle theta one. Phase difference between the black and red is theta one. So in the phasor concept, it is also explained lagging, leading everything. Now what about this? Here? Yeah, very good. Theta 2, this is a phase difference. So what if I have two signals with different frequencies, with different time periods? Let's take two signals of having different time periods or different frequencies. We cannot say phase difference for this kind of signal because at each and every time the phase difference gets changed. Hence, phase difference can only be defined if both the signals are having same frequency. So to understand more about all these concepts, I strongly recommend you to watch the other lectures, other parts of this AC fundamentals so that you'll understand whole concepts of it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos and keep sharing these videos with your friends so that everybody will get benefited. Thank you.